Alrighty, welcome back. We're back at it. Queen Jolene's on the camera and I'm your man Bad Chad and we are on air. This is the six cylinder 4.2 liter Jaguar engine. We have washed it, cleaned it, scraped it, filed it, whatever we could do to get it as clean as we can. Uh, Aiden in a bed and helped on this. Jolene helped on it. I done a little bit, but uh, basically I want to throw a little, I'm going to throw a little bit of paint on it. It's not completed yet, so I'm just going to throw a little bit of paint on it. It's probably going to have to be painted again. But I'm leaving the valve pan covers on. They're kind of flaky and stuff like that. I'm just leaving them on right now because I, do, I don't want to have to try to cover the, the valves up and stuff. We have uh, the head is going to be okay, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm just going to throw some paint on it. Uh, and we're going to take the valve pan covers off. I think I'm going to call in maybe Bernie. Bernie's going to check out and um, check out. There's shims in the valves to let me know if the valves are set right on this engine and uh, basically that's what we're going to do but i'm going to throw a little bit of paint on it and joey's going to film me putting some paint on it i'm going to use some metal pro well, who we have out back there okay we have a guy out back don't know him yet he's going to be nice enough to wait um what's going on is I've got this Metal Pro here, and it's direct to metal. I'm going to throw that on there. I know that I'm going to paint the engine again. I know that I'm going to paint the engine again. So this is what I'm going to use for the first coat. Whatever does not stick or whatever, if the, it's not clean somewhere, um, we'll just, we're going to spray it again. So remind yourself as I'm doing this, I'm going to spray it again. So I'm going to use this, this paint as a, as a ground coat. And then I'm going to, I'm going to just uh, do that again. It looked like it maybe had a chunk in it. it did, didn't it? it? Looked like it had a chunk in it, so I'm just going to take that out. We'll get a filter. So we'll use it as a ground coat and uh, filter, filter, filter. See a filter anywhere? Hmm, that could be, that could be trying. Filter must have a filter well I don't have to have a filter but I'm hoping that I do I had a box in here at one time I know that I did for sure but uh, I'm gonna spray it all right what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray it anyways and whenever the clunk chunks come to the bottom I'll dump them out and then I'll know that I'm at the bottom of the paint we'll do it again let's let's do it We'll open the open that up please here I'm just gonna dump it in just gonna dump it a little different I guess so we're just going to spray it and so I can get things done so the valve pins covers are gonna have to come off um, we're gonna get the valves checked the, the the shims checked on the valves if I got that if I'm saying that right the shims on the valves so they they're adjusted right uh, we end up getting uh, the carburetors joey had to buy a set of carburetors um, she bought them from do you know uh, eBay. ebay she bought them she got a good deal they even they even uh what can i say negotiated with her which is a good thing it's always good when someone will no negotiate a little bit i'm going to throw this over here and hold this here i've got a bunch of stuff that i'm going to paint I'm going to like using this paint because of the dry time. And what I mean by the dry time, I got the fan to paint, I got some motor mounts to paint, I got a dry shaft to paint. Everything's got to get painted. Everything's got to get painted. So I'm going to pull this down, get a mask. You got your mask on, sweetheart? She's got a mask to put on. This mask will do, I think. I'm just spraying that. I might just put on one of these little masks here. This mask is full. Whatever. This is my old mask. I left my mask at. It'll work. I'm gonna pull this door down. Are you coming in, Jolene? Jolene's coming in. So 
So this is just a ground coat. We're gonna do a little work on it after, but I'm still spraying it. Moving forward. When we're looking up Bugatti engines, they all seem to be like a silver color. Um, so that's what we're going with. And I like it, it looks good. I like it. It's funny how you want the top side to look really good, but the top side generally you don't see. It's the underneath you see when you're underneath the car. We have all new chrome lug nuts to put on, all new chrome lug nuts to put on the top, all new lug nuts for the valve pan covers. We have all new gaskets, but basically, like I said, we're just painting it for the first guide for the first coat. Putting the paint on light the first time, I don't want to put it on heavy. You know what happens when you put it on too heavy? Um, just like when you're painting your house, you get paint on too heavy, it peels off. I'm going to pull this open. Not sure if the fan will work or not, but I'm gonna pull that cord out so we can turn the fan on. I'm gonna get my paint gun, pour some more paint in it. So even when we did have the other engine, when we, when we had the other engine that, uh, that was done, um, it, had, it had the wrong color on it. So that's why we were tearing it apart. And I'm so glad that we did after what we found. So now we're on the second engine and uh, we're painting it the color that we want, silver. What's that? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go. You wanna hold that for me for a second, sweetheart? You just have to wait. Let's try that fan, see what happens. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Fan blade fell off it. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. 
That's good, sweetheart. That's good. Looks real good. I like the color of it. I like it. It's gonna look good. Need more paint. We'll get one coat on this thing and then we'll call it. Seems to be alright. Alrighty. Man, I got good on that one. It never fails, it runs down the edge of the cup or the or the can, but I didn't spill it over the gun, that's a good thing. Hmm. Gonna have to get this going. Probably should have thinned it down some. Gonna have to thin it down. Just gonna use the old can. Shove some paint in that. And then I'll thin it down with some thinner. Thin it down. Probably, probably a bit much. Blue. Hey! How you doing? Good. Right here someplace? Just in here. Huh? Napper. You can just lay it on the on the on the brake there, Darnell. I'll sign it myself. Sure. Perfect. Thanks, man. Not a problem. Appreciate it. Right on. Thank you. No problem. Got a little bit going on here. Gonna mix it up. Gotta go back. 
back out again. Might have, should have known better, but. I have a couple people waiting on me. <laughs> Nap is showing up. It's all good stuff, though. All good stuff. We'll get a coat of paint on this. And then we'll see what it looks like. And then you'll know what I have to do the second time. I'm just going to come in and do it again. Basically. Very nicer now. There's no set plan when you paint an engine. You just spray the paint, you know. You're not trying to run the paint off the engine or anything, but you're just trying to get all the crevices and everything. Basically, you're not looking for a pattern. I'm not looking for a pattern. I'm looking for something to, to get all the area on the, on the engine. So, um, if you think you're going to spray it like, a, like you're going to spray a car, not so. Um, this, part, this, this place here is out further than in there. This place is down inside there. You really have to just just paint it with a, with a small little needle like that and try to get all the areas that you want paint on to make it look good and uh, try not to put too much on so it doesn't run and look bad, I guess. We're just trying to make sure everything has paint. That's all we're trying to make sure. We use earplugs for any holes that we do not want paint in. There's earplugs in some holes, like these are all covered. It's easier to talk. Fans working good. There's no just earplugs in the holes where I'm bolting the motor mounts on, so it does not get paint inside that. Basically, that's, it's a pretty pretty basic thing to paint an engine. Just try to get it all covered. Do it again. It's always a good idea when you come back out and you haven't used the paint that you've got mixed up to stir it again just to keep everything so it's 
stir it up basically. Sometimes it can separate on you. What I mean by separate is that the thinner can separate from the paint. So it's always good every time you come out, stir your, stir your paint up. We're not holding it back a long ways, the paint gun. I'm just putting a dry coat on. Just trying to put it on dry to get it covered. All new head bolts, I told you that. We're just going to paint these ones. We'll take these ones off and replace with new ones. If I want it shiny, just get, put the paint down a little closer. That's all. Pretty basic. Trying to cover it right at the present moment. And we're going to paint it again. Doing the groundwork. Get some more. I got a little bit of paint left here. I'll spray the rest of this paint and then uh, this is the last cupful, so I'm just going to go in and try to make that sure that it's all covered. I've already said it before, trying to tell you things that, you know, instead of making the comment, what, well, you're going to have to do this or do that. I'm just painting it now so I can deal with it, take everything off. If anything comes off, any dirt, any mud, or any grease on or anything that chip, we scrape off, cleaned off, at least I'll know what stays and what doesn't. What stays is fine. What doesn't stay, I'm going to spray the thing again because I'm going to take the valve pan covers off. The head nuts are coming off. The valve springs are being checked. New water pump going on. So basically I'm just spraying the ground coat to try to make it the best it can be. That's basically all I'm doing.